This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. Today's boxing fans are being afforded the opportunity to witness something truly unique during the long rich history of the heavyweight division. There are currently three undefeated heavyweight boxers, each of whom has a legitimate claim to call himself heavyweight champion. Anthony Joshua is the reigning unified IBF, WBA, WBO heavyweight world champion. Deontay Wilder is the reigning WBC heavyweight world champion. And Tyson Fury still has a valid claim as the reigning lineal heavyweight world champion. At this point in time, unless those three are engaged in fights against each other, I would personally favor those three against any other heavyweight currently competing in the division. So right now, the only potential super fights that exist in the division involve two of those three boxers squaring off against one another. Any would-be matchups involving Joshua, Wilder, and Fury that aren't against each other, those are inherently inferior matchups. And the clock is ticking here. While I would personally favor these three against any other heavyweight, there are certainly no guarantees here. Anything can happen in boxing, especially the heavyweight division. Joshua, Wilder, and Fury, they all have flaws that can be exploited by other heavyweights. To date, Fury and Wilder are the only two of the three to face each other, and those two were involved in a highly dramatic and somewhat controversial draw last December. An immediate rematch would have been a most welcome event for boxing fans, but it didn't happen. Instead, Wilder is coming off of a highlight reel first round knockout against Dominic Brazil this past weekend, Fury is scheduled to face Tom Schwartz on June 15th, and Joshua is slated to face Andy Ruiz on June 1st, with Ruiz acting as a replacement opponent for Big Baby Miller. Assuming that Joshua and Fury both win their upcoming matchups, which is probably a fairly safe assumption, the stage will then be set for a big showdown between two of these three. But will it actually happen? I'm not so sure. Boxing, first and foremost, is a business, and every elite level boxer has a limited number of years to maximize their earnings. So the goal is to make the best decisions possible when managing one's career, and taking calculated risks only when they make sense. In recent years, the precedent established by Mayweather and Pacquiao acts as a potential stumbling block for any would-be megafights. In fairness, it didn't all start with Floyd and Manny, but their prolonged waiting period before finally fighting acted as a modern-day precedent of sorts. Mayweather and Pacquiao proved that even a loss won't necessarily deny a tremendous payday from happening. Indeed, Pacquiao was knocked out cold in his fourth bout against nemesis Juan Manuel Marquez. And while that definitive defeat certainly removed some of the magical appeal that surrounded Mayweather Pacquiao for so many years, when they finally did face, it was still a smashing financial success. The knockout loss against Marquez didn't seem to have any effect on the earnings for the fight. Make no mistake, the Mayweather-Pacquiao precedent is at play here in this current heavyweight landscape. And further complicating matters is the fact that each of these three boxers are basically, in one capacity or another, affiliated with rival broadcast entities. Fury is with ESPN, Joshua's team is connected with The Zone, and Wilder is linked to Heyman where he usually appears on Showtime. Remember how difficult it was for HBO and Showtime to finally reach an agreement so that we can see the showdown between Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson? A similar situation resurfaced in the whole Mayweather-Pacquiao ordeal as well. So unfortunately for the fans who just want to see the best consistently facing the best, the whole boxing business is inherently complicated, and it involves individual teams trying their best to steer the ship in a way that maximizes career earnings, along with health considerations and long-term legacy maneuvering. Because of the many obstacles inherent to designing a career path based on calculated risks in this merciless business, 
It's not very difficult to imagine a situation where Wilder, Fury, and Joshua all continue pursuing safer options, all in order to capitalize on the potential buildup for a would-be mega bout showdown. Wilder and Fury both took the calculated risk of squaring off, and in doing so, they elevated both of their profiles in their respective earning potentials. Their bout clearly overshadowed Joshua's two solid victories that year against Parker and Povietkin, and since the bout ended in a draw, Fury and Wilder both avoided the setback of suffering a loss, so the calculated risk paid off for both. The thing that really sucks about the current predicament is all three of these boxers have a huge opportunity here, an opportunity that could maybe result in the stuff boxing legends are made from. If any one of these three undefeated heavyweight champions can decisively beat the other two, the historical impact would be rather significant. These three champions should remember that even a loss doesn't mean the end of the road, as Pacquiao's knockout loss against Marquez proved. Mayweather Pacquiao still generated a fortune, so I think a loss between these three heavyweights can be forgiven, so long as it's a loss against one of the other three. To reiterate the greater point here, the only matchups in the heavyweight division that truly matter right now are bouts that involve Joshua, Wilder, and Fury fighting among themselves. I think I could safely say that we as fans certainly don't want a situation like we got in the 90s with Riddick Bowe and Lennox Lewis. The super fight that never happened. And despite quasi-agreements being reached on three separate occasions, the fight still never happened. They waited too long. So in order for one of these heavyweight super fights to take place right now, it's going to require a compromise. And with three heavyweights at play here, the opportunity actually exists for two of them to box the other one out. Again, Wilder vs. Fury certainly overshadowed Joshua's victories against Parker and Povietkin. The opportunity exists for one of these guys to become immortalized in the annals of heavyweight history. All it will take is a willingness to compromise in a quest to truly win the fans over without hiding behind the business obstacles inherent to the sport. Fans want to see boxers who want to prove themselves against the best. And for my take at this time, I definitely still believe that Joshua is the most well-rounded boxer of the bunch. Joshua has skills, he has power, and he has a very high ring IQ. Joshua's skills are solid enough that he can outbox most foes, and he has the power to stop any heavyweight in the world. Joshua also has what I consider to be the best resume in recent years. Victories over Klitschko and Povietkin probably represent the best pair of wins for any heavyweight these past two years. But that said, I do believe that Fury and Wilder both cause a lot of stylistic problems for AJ. I'm not necessarily saying they both beat Joshua, but Wilder's right hand will always be dangerous, and Fury has the skill set and the chin to cause Joshua some major fits. I think Joshua has the best jab of the bunch, and he has an excellent jab to the body, but these assets could potentially work against him with an unorthodox monster puncher like Wilder. And Fury's ability to dictate and control the range and distance with his excellent movement, that will pose a challenging puzzle for the unified champion. Wilder is clearly the best puncher of the bunch, and his best efforts to date were the dramatic stoppage against Luis Ortiz and his draw against Tyson Fury. Wilder's victory against Brazil this past weekend, it was just another dazzling display of his incredible raw punching power. But a guy like Brazil was always going to provide a nice target for Wilder. Against Fury, Wilder's technical shortcomings made things very challenging, but Wilder has a lot of heart and determination. And despite being outclassed for long stretches of the fight, Wilder was still able to twice find a home for his big right hand. 
As good as Fury is at controlling the range and distance, Wilder was still able to find a way to drill Fury with some game-changing punches. To his credit, Fury battled on after suffering those two knockdowns, illustrating that he too has incredible heart and determination and an amazing will to win. Fury's signature victory was his one-sided win against long-reigning champion Vladimir Klitschko, but that fight is going on four years ago now. After a long absence from the ring, Fury got himself back in shape, and he made a very strong account of himself against Wilder. In fact, I definitely thought Fury deserved a victory in that one, despite suffering two knockdowns, because Fury was controlling the pace and tempo throughout most of the rounds. But the fight was a draw, and while I think Fury remains the most talented pure boxer of the three, Wilder proved that he carries his power late and that there's no quit in him. Personally, I think Wilder and Fury have unfinished business, and I would very much like to see a rematch between them before I see either of them fight Joshua. But at the same time, I'd rather see one of them fight Joshua next instead of seeing them continue to fight guys like Brazil or Ruiz or Schwartz. But really, at the end of the day, I just want to see any two of these top three guys squaring off. Hell, I'd like to see the three of them engage in a round robin during the coming years, where they all have a series of fights against one another. Because any fight between Wilder, Joshua, and Fury will ultimately define this era of heavyweight boxing. Glory is there for the taking. These three guys all have a huge opportunity for boxing immortality. All they gotta do is show a willingness to compromise and a determination to prove themselves against the elite from this era. Easy for me to say, because my bottom line isn't affected by the decisions these guys are making pertaining to their prize fighting careers, but as a fan, I firmly believe the only heavyweight matchups that truly matter are with Joshua, Wilder, and Fury all battling among themselves. And as a fan, I sure hope we get to see more of these matchups sooner rather than later. Will the real heavyweight champion please step up? Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and have a great night.